Good evening, good evening, people. Welcome to English Corporativo. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Um, uh, I want to ask you, please, if you can write your full name. It is important for Insaforp if you identify yourselves with your full name, please. So, good evening, Mireya. Good evening, Misael. Good evening, teacher. Hi there. Good evening, Claudia. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Jose, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, we're about to start tonight with intermediate three. Yeah. Okay, so first of all, let me introduce myself with you. My name is Saul Montoya. I have been working with Inglés Corporativo like for three or four years now. I've been teaching English almost 20 years. Um, I live in Lourdes. Uh, I, I'm married, I have four children. So, and it's a pleasure to me to be with you here. Okay, what about you? What can you tell me about you? 
volunteers to introduce, please, to tell a little bit about you. Na volunteer. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Anna. My name is Anna Molina. Mm -hmm. I'm a, I am a housewife, wife, and um, 42 years. I live in San Salvador uh, with my family, my father and my brother and my nephew. And I like to listen to music and watch uh, um, different uh, videos of, about medicines or reading uh, articles. Okay. And also, uh, I ready for a study new model of English class. And sure. uh, I hope to improve my English in this level. Excellent, very good, very good. Congratulations. Let me give you Thank a little applause here. Great. Thank you, Anna. Okay, who's next? Hello. Hello, Misael. Hello, my name is Misael. I'm from Santa Ana, Santa Ana. I am 23 years old and I am studying marketing, international marketing in the University of El Salvador, Western Campus, and I live with my parents and my sister. And I am, a, I think that I am a person who is uh, outgoing and friendly. Okay. And I hope he approve all the models. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you will. Yes, you will for sure. Excellent. Nice oh, to meet you, Misael. Thank Santa you. Ana is a beautiful city. I like Santa Ana. I have some friends. Thank there. you. Thank you. Okay, great. Next. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Mireya. And I'm 24 years old. I am single. I live with my parents and siblings. And I want to improve my skills. And I want to learn a lot in this level. I I am I live I live in San Sanat. Oh. Nice to meet everyone. Nice to meet you, Mireya. San Sanat city is is a nice place. Very hot, by the way. Very hot, but but beautiful. Okay, good. Okay, next, please, voluntarily. Hello, good evening. Good evening. My name is Aide. I am from the Salvador, San Salvador, 23 years old. I live with my family, my husband, and my son. And I, and I, I enjoy the this class mm -hmm. for the first time. Ah, okay, good. Do you work or only study? Only study. Ah, okay. Okay, nice. Nice to meet you, Idea. Okay, next. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Uh, my name is Javier. I live in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. I work in um, real estate nah, nice. and um, I am married. Mm -hmm. um, I have three daughters and I hope to learn a lot of things in this course. Good. Okay, we, we're gonna teach a lot of things then. Excellent, thank you, Javier. I have three children too, and a boy, oh. so I have four. <laughs> Only boys. Hello. Three daughters oh. and one boy. Oh, okay. Hello, Jasmine. Hello, how are you? Great, great. Tell us about you, well, please. Well, a little bit about me is, well, I am Jasmine and I am 25 years old. Um, some of my hobbies, are um, learn uh, learn more about English 
I think um, I have uh, searched uh, uh, some things about this company, and I I think I will enjoy uh, search some time with you, and I hope uh, get more uh, new new vocabulary because I think that sometimes uh, something new is really good for for all people. I think. Yes, so, it nice is. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, Jasmine. Excellent. Okay, next, please. Maybe I am the last one, but my name is Ana Gloria. Mm -hmm. I am I, I am sixty five years old. I I am divorced. I am I don't remember how do you say um retirada. Retired. Um, retired. And I, I am refreshing my my knowledge of English because I was studying um, a lot, uh, around ten years ago. Okay. And I want to, if it's possible, I want to to work uh, in a in an English place. Um, but it's a, a dream for me. Um, okay. I like uh, to learn to learn a lot of things. And I'm a constant, and I have I live with my little my my last girl mm -hmm. daughter. <laughs> mm -hmm. She's uh, twenty years old. And I uh, I will will live. Here. I don't okay. know what I say. I need to say. <laughs> nice to meet you, Ana Gloria. Nice to meet you. Okay, too. and and what did you do before your retirement? Uh, I was working 20, uh, 23 years in American school of El Salvador. And oh, okay. after I worked in another place for five years, um, I went in some, some place. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Uh, really, the, the most in my work is in where well, my profession is accountant. Accountant? I am an accountant. Ah, yes. okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Okay, who's next? Hey guys, turn on your cameras. Don't be shy. <laughs> uh, turn on your cameras. Aha, uh -huh, we are introducing ourselves. Who's next? If you're not volunteer, so we are going to point. Okay, okay, go ahead. Good evening everyone. My name is Fernando. I am 32. I live in San Salvador and I hope we we will learn different things, new and different things, and more than the partners probably we could be nice friends. And nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to meet you, Fer. Excellent. Okay. Who's next? Claudia, Jennifer, Karen, Gabriela. Andrea, Jose, Vanessa, Zaira. Hello. 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 My name is Claudio Obispo. Mm -hmm. I, my age is uh, 39 years. And I hope to improve my English. Mm, what, what else? I like to go out and share time with my family and friends. I work in Seguro Social. Okay. I don't know how do you say. Okay. Social Only. Security. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Only. <laughs> okay, good. Nice to meet you, Claudia. Uh -huh. Karen, Jose. Hello. Good Hello. evening. My name is Karen. And to be honest with you, I I just work. And I like to, to work because it's, uh, it's uh, very necessary to continue my experience about the job. Well, I live in Lourdes, by, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> and <naked>. I start, <laughs> yes, of course. And well, I study marketing because I choose marketing because it's a good opportunity to, to, to know about different uh, knowledge, knowledge and 
I love this one because my father and my mother uh, told me about the career and obviously I like this, this one. Well, okay. I like the dog because my favorite animal is a dog mm -hmm. because it's, it, I don't know, I like the, the fluffy, I don't know. Uh, it, it, well, in my case, I love the dog and that's stuff. Okay, thank you. Nice to meet you, Karen. Nice uh, to meet you too. Next. Andrea, do you want to talk? Do you want to speak? Good evening to everybody. Good evening. And my name is Andrea. I'm 20 years old. I live in San Salvador and I study legal science in the University of El Salvador. Mm. And that's all. <laughs> okay, nice to meet you, Andrea. Nice to meet you. Um, Good evening. Saira. Hello. Hey, Good teacher. evening. Gabriela. Who, who, who's, who's talking? <laughs> Me, Gabriela. Okay, Gabriela, go ahead. Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Gabriela. I am 23 years old. Sorry, I can't turn on my camera because I have bad signal in my house. So if I turn on, I can hear you very well. Okay. But my objective here is learn more English and speak better. So because in the future, I want to get a better job and another opportunities, not only here in Salvador, maybe in another country. Mm -hmm. And I live in Cojutepeque with my family, my parents and my little sister and my grandmother. So it's a pleasure to me to meet all of us. Okay. Thank you, Gabriela. It's a beautiful city, Cojutepeque. Yeah. Yes. It's a nice oh. place. Okay. okay. Hello, good evening, uh, everybody. Uh, I am Zaira Natalie Jimenez, and I I like English. I am 20 years old, and I live with my parents, my mom, my father, and my little brother, and I uh, learn more English and I like it. Okay, excellent. Like nice to meet I you. I live Saira. in Soyapango. In Soyapango, okay, very good. Next. Nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to meet you, Saira. Uh huh, Vanessa, please. <laughs> she left. Okay. Someone else? Jennifer? Hello, teacher. I am Jennifer Torres, and I live in San Salvador. I'm married, and I have two sisters and one brother. I hope to learn English more because I want to improve my English because I want to work very soon. Okay. Oh, nice to meet you. And what's your name? Saul, Saul Montoya. No, okay. okay, anyone else? I know some of you are missing yet, but being a little bit, little bit shy. Oh, Vanessa, hi. Turn on your microphone, please. Hi, everyone. Hi, Vanessa. Uh, my name is Vanessa. And I'm, I am a student of engineering in the universe, Francisco Gaviria. Mm -hmm. uh, this is my four year. Uh, I live in La Libertad. And I hope I can prove my speech. Mm -hmm. And I like to go out with my friends and my family in my free time. Hey, Thanks. great. Nice to meet you, Vanessa. Okay, who's missing? Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Who's missing? Nobody, I think. Maybe Jose. Okay, very good. Uh, so I, I would like to ask you, please, if you 
uh, on the left, no, on the right corner on of your picture, of your, your screen, there are three dots. Yeah. And if you click those three dots, you can rename um, your your screen actually because I need you to write your full name so I'm gonna do it with my one I'm gonna write my name it says Inglés Corporativo but I, I also have to write my name Saul Montoya Saul Ernesto Montoya so and I need you to do that because and also when when you register for every class, for every session, please do it with your full name. Uh, the thing is that Insafor is checking the attendance every day, every time, and, and sometimes there are people with similar names and so they need to verify that you are who you are, okay? so. Every time you get into class, you join the class, please write your full name. Okay, not only one name and one last name or only one name, but, but your full name, okay? If you can do it right now, please do it. Uh, if not, yes, tomorrow when you register for the class, I think you have to register for the class, right? Am I right? Yes. Yes, yes, right. So so when you register, please register with your full name. Okay, today uh, we are going to start. Let me show you what are we going to do tonight. So let me go here. And I have to share the screen. Everyone has been able to um, get into the platform of Inglés Corporativo? Or have you uh, have you had any kind of problem? No problem. No problem? No problem. No problem. No problem. Um, okay, very good. Because the platform is open because there you Oh, I'm sorry, Jasmine says that she's having problems. Okay, actually, I want to show you. I haven't proved, but I am going to prove right now. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Mira, se trabó la compu. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, but we can, we can sorry, hear you. No, no problem. We can hear you. So. And if you can hear us, okay. Well, I'll show you later, let's see if that works. Okay, tonight we're going to start talking about this topic. Yeah, the first objective for our class is this. In this class, let me get this. In this class, participants will be first introduced to passive voice using by okay we are going to learn what how to use passive voice how to form passive voice okay and when you can use it let me read here first passive voice is the best way to express an idea when we don't know who did the action, 
So when we don't know who did the something, so it's better to use passive voice. Or when there is no doer of the action, okay? So when nobody is the performer of the action, for example, when you say he was killed in an earthquake, okay? Who does the earthquake? Nobody, right? So it's a, a, a natural um, disaster. Phenomena, disaster, right? So he was killed in an earthquake. And uh, we use passive voice when the fact is more important than the doer of the action. When the fact is more important than the doer of the action. For example, when you say, my dog was run over by a car. Okay, so the most important thing in this sentence so is not the car, so it's, it's that the dog was run over, was run over, okay? And in the first one, my house was broken, my house was broken into on Friday. Who broke into my home? I don't know. So I, I express in this form, and that is what we call passive voice. And how do we form passive voice? Well, let me show you some examples and how passive voice is formed. Okay, we are going to use passive voice with by and combine with simple past, with simple past. And passive voice changes the focus of a sentence. So in passive voice, the focus is again in the action, not in the person who did the action, no? For the simple past, the structure for passive voice is this. We use the pass of B plus the past participle. I better change the color of this. Okay. This is the structure for the passive voice. The past of B plus past participle. For example, um, the difference between active voice and passive voice is that active voice is focused on the person who does or who did the action. For example, the president. The subject or not. Yeah, or the subject. The president mm -hmm. opened the building in 1931. So here the focus or the emphasis is the president. The president did something. What did he do? He opened the building in 1931. But in passive voice, we focus on the action. So the building or it, no, it means the building. It was opened by the president in 1931. So if you observe, we form this using the pass of B, yeah, which is was in this case. And the past participle opened, which is, uh, since it's a regular verb, so it's the same, opened and opened, because it's a regular verb, the simple past and the past participle is the same, okay? So it was opened by the president in 1931. Or the other example says, an American architect an American architect designed the building. Okay, so the, the focus here is, is the architect. Like the, the architect was an American, no? <clears throat> but he designed the building. But when I change the, the focus, so I say it was designed or the building was designed by an American architect. So here you have in more detail the structure, okay? 
for active voice first we have the subject then the verb and then an object but for passive voice we first have the object so who is the one that receives the action so the building was designed so the building or it in this case was or were you see was designed the past participle designed by we are going to use always the this particle by and the subject so it's just to say the same thing but with a different emphasis okay uh, i don't know can is this clear or is there anything that i need to explain again i think it's clear for me for me too mm -hmm. clear teacher. yeah if you have if you have any question don't worry okay you can ask it i can repeat i can do it again me. So. No problem. Uh, teacher. Uh huh. Can we use another verb? Well, another verb. Well, definitely we. I mean, past participle. Yes, of course. Past participle, depending on what you're talking about. Okay. Mm -hmm. on I the mean, what word is we most use? Yes. But I mean, or I think. More difficult, another verb. Yeah, but so past participle is that form of the verb, okay? The form of the verb. Remember, the verbs have the basic form, simple past, past participle. Okay, okay. for example, I think break. Alisa, I don't know if I understand, but I think Elisa is asking about if, if we can change what and where for other verbs i don't know if i understood the question no we cannot change that so we have to use was and where that's the, that's the form yeah yeah that is part of the of the structure was and where always mm -hmm. was or where okay depending on the subject so we're going to use mm -hmm. was or where okay i think if we do some exercises it, it will be easier to understand or to practice it okay let me show you here okay i i i wrote here some statements some sentences in simple past the idea is to change the sentences into passive voice okay into passive voice for example she sang a song Okay, this is simple past. This is act what, what we call active voice. What do you think is this this passive voice for this sentence? The song was sung by her. Song but was sung by the uh -huh. chief by her by her ah okay very good the song was sung by her excellent that is the way to do it okay okay let's do this in small groups i'm going to take a screenshot of this activity uh i hope all of you are already in WhatsApp. Are you going to send the image? Yes, I'm going to send okay. this slide to WhatsApp. Okay, let me take the screenshot. What's it? Okay, here it is.
Okay, there you are. And I'm going to, to put you in small groups to work together, okay? In small groups, we're going to work. You have that in WhatsApp. You can write the, the sentences in your notebook and change them into passive voice. Okay, let me organize the groups. Uh, Hola. I don't know how, how the, to, to translate to, to WhatsApp. I don't really don't use it that a lot and sync. WhatsApp. Um, yeah, I use, I have, but I don't know how I will translate the, the, the information. No, I just give you the picture in WhatsApp so you can take notes in your notebook. Yes, you are you are yeah. you are in the group of the class. You are working mm, not yet. in the group. Not yet. Are you in the group? Not yet. Okay. Um, <laughs> if you are in, you receive an email. All of you received an email with the information of the course, right? In that email, you have a link to join, to directly join the WhatsApp, okay, WhatsApp group. If you go to the, your email, you just hit the, the link and directly you will be joined to WhatsApp. Okay, right now. Thanks, I'm going to check. Okay, I'm going to form the groups. You are going to receive an invitation here in Zoom to join small groups to work. So take the invitation, join the small groups and work together please with this exercise.
teacher, uh, I have a problem with my uh, my internet. Internet, mm -hmm. and you can incorporate uh, uh, a to group, a group. Okay. please. Sure, sure. Right away. Uh, thank you. Okay, there you go. Teacher, I have a problem with my internet. Okay, Karen. Yes. I'm going to send you to a group, okay? And I don't have a group. Yes, of course. It's okay. Okay. See ya. No. What did I do? I'm sorry, by mistake I hit the wrong bottom. <laughs> and I brought you back. Okay. Uh, uh, Saul, uh, right? I yeah. have a question. Tell me. In the number six, they didn't make their beds. Uh, I think is their beds was Remember that it's plural. Uh, it's would be where, where in. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, by mistake, I hit the wrong, the wrong bottom, and I brought you back. So okay. I, I'm gonna send you back to your groups because. Please. I was I was sending. <laughs> we were discussing. We were discussing. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna send you back. I'm sorry. Excuse me because I was sending someone and I, I clicked the wrong, the wrong bottom. Okay, there you go again.
Hello, guys. Everything okay here? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Work together. Discuss answers. Okay. Compare. Thank you. Okay. Somebody make the number nine. Nine. Yeah. Okay. I make was didn't told by me. Is that right? Oh. Yes. Repeat, please. Repeat. Was didn't. Were they told about you? By you, yes. Uh, by, no, uh, yeah. Uh, by you, yes, by you. It seems you. Do you think, do you think that it has sense? Were they told about you? I think it will be were told by you to them. Yes. He said the opposite are only were then were they tell, told told you by told you. Mm. Mm, I think and I don't know if, if it is wrong, I think it will be <laughs> were told by you to them. Or oh, no. because the because the the subject of them is used the use the uh, next to it's where true. where mm -hmm. they where they told about you. Yes. Uh, the next one is that did he send the letter? Uh, the letter was. Uh -huh. no, was the was letter? Uh huh. Sent by sent by, by you. him by, by him. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> was the letter sent by by him by him very good good job thank you <laughs> thank you <Okay. laughs> yeah bye thank you <laughs> by him see you um, hello teacher hello <laughs> What are you doing? Uh, the exercise. Uh, we are a question in number four. And uh -huh. Alex, can you say to him, <laughs> say to him, what is the answer of the number four? And explain to him. <laughs> I think it could be, of course, it could be. Uh, the, the, the way it's be, it wasn't come by day. Because I think it's not the same sentences. It's changed the way. I don't know. Number four. They didn't let him go. Mm -hmm. So what, how, how did you write it in passive voice? Yes. How? Tell me again. What is your answer to that? What is the passive voice? Uh, oh, he write it. you in the chat. He wasn't come. Um, he wasn't. Um, he wasn't come by day. Huh. What is it's the not, verb? What is the verb? Go. It's gone, right? No. No. No, that is not the main verb. Mm -hmm. Oh, let. Let. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. No. <laughs> actually, actually, it's let go. Mm -hmm. Let go. 
Oh. They didn't let go. They didn't let him go. So. So he wasn't. He was let. Mm -hmm. He wasn't let go by they. Gone by they. they. By them. Them. Yeah. Them. He wasn't let go by them. Let go because the main verb is let. Let go. Let go. Ah, okay. Doesn't change the first particle. Let. Yeah. No. It, okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, is Thank the same you. for the for seven? For seven. Yes, I am stopped in there. Very similar. Did you tell them? Oh, the main verb is tell or not? Yes. So Mm. Oh, that, that is a question. Uh, where is Did the you tell them? For a question. It's the same form. It doesn't matter, it's a question. Remember the, the order for questions. Where, where, no, where you, where, no. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> where? I'm thinking uh -huh. how's uh -huh. where 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 told them? you no. by no where you told them no 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 it doesn't sense. <laughs> Remember that that the that the who did the action? You okay. Mm -hmm. You did the action. You told them. Or that is the question at least. Yeah. Did you tell them? Uh -huh. Where? Where you? No. Where? where? No, where they? Where them? Where they? Them? Ah, where they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they? Tell them. No. Me. What is the past participle no. of tell? I don't oh. know. I don't remember. <laughs> Told. Told. Yeah. told. Uh huh. Yeah. Told. Told you or told me. Were they told by? Oh. By you. By you. <laughs> by you. Uh huh. Were they told by you? You see? Yes. Were they, Were they told. told by you? Just like the chat, I send you in chat. I don't think mm -hmm. it's okay. Yeah, okay. that's that's it. Okay, okay see you so later. I had to, I gotta go. Okay, uh, see you. Thanks. I think that the difficult is the the didn't. But yeah. if you if you make sense about question. about the order, yeah. Ah, hello, okay. teacher. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Any help? We we was discussing about the didn't in the sentences uh -huh. because it sometimes is it's like but number strength. three uh -huh. no four number four the case of number four. four they didn't let him go uh huh what is the passive voice for that. We think mm -hmm. he was not left gone by them. He, uh huh. He was not. He wasn't. Uh -huh. Left gone, gone with past participle by them. But we don't know if we are correct. Um, no, because the 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 phrase is this is like a a phrasal verb. We would say let go, and the main verb is let. Mm -hmm. So the past participle is let go again because let mm. let let yeah ah, okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so in this case he was not let go by them yes he wasn't let go by them 
Okay, thanks. We have that. that. But I think the, I don't know if, if, if we can name like problem, but sometimes it's difficult when sentences have uh, the didn't. Mm -hmm. Remember that it problem. was or were in negative. Mm -hmm. Wasn't, weren't. And number seven, it's a question. Uh -huh. We think, in, well, in simple past is do you tell them? And mm -hmm. we think in passive voice is where they told you. Where they told you? No. Where they told by you. By you. Yeah, remember mm. by. You need to use by. Mm. Because by tells you the performer or the doer of the action. Were they told by you? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm. Number eight, we think was the letter sent by him? Yes. Yes. Mireya, number nine. Do we have the number nine, Mireya? Yeah, the last one. The number nine. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to check later together. I got to go okay. to check another group. Okay, okay. Thank okay. you. Okay, thank, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you doing? Hello. How are you doing? Good. Uh, I just we finished the, the exercise. Ah, okay. Good. Okay. I'm going to call you back to the main group. So, and then we're going to to check. Okay. 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 See you. Teacher. Okay, people. Sorry, yeah. Welcome back. Um, okay, we have to stop here because there is another class coming. And we are going to check this exercise tomorrow, okay? First thing, okay. tomorrow we are going to check this exercise. Please remember, okay, register with your full name tomorrow. Join the WhatsApp group if you have, haven't done it yet. And if you have any question, okay, you can you can write to the chat or the people who registered. Okay. Okay, okay teacher. Okay. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you, Mike. Bye. 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 B